Hello, my name is Matthew from 4-H Tech Changemakers. And hello, my name is Michael from the Kalispell 4-H Club. Today we're going to be talking about fishing. What is fishing? Phishing is a type of social engineering attack often used to steal user data, including logging credentials and credit card numbers. It occurs when an attacker masquerading as a trusted entity dupes a victim into opening an email, instant message, or text message. The recipient is then tricked into clicking a malicious link, which can lead to the installation of malware, the freezing of the system as part of a ransomware attack, or the revealing of sensitive information. Here's an example of a phishing attack. If you look here underlined in purple, the email is from a My University, and it says, Dear Network User, this email is meant to inform you that your My University network password will expire in 24 hours. Please follow the link below to update your password. Now, the link below underlined in purple here is myuniversity.edu slash renewal. Now, that looks like the real thing. But what would happen if the user clicked on this link? The user is, would be redirected to a myuniversity, underlined in purple here, myuniversity.edurenewal.com. If you look at the original on the top, it is myuniversity.edu slash renewal. But the fake one here is myuniversity.edurenewal. There is no slash, and it's a dot com. It is a bogus page appearing exactly like the real renewal page where both new and existing passwords are requested. The attacker monitoring the page hijacks the original password to gain access to secured areas on the university network. Hello, my name is Michael and I will be talking about phishing techniques and email phishing scams. An attacker sending out thousands of fraudulent messages can net significant information and sums of money, even if only a small percentage of recipients fall for the scam. As seen in the previous slide, there are some techniques attackers use to increase their success rates. Attackers will usually try to push users into actions by creating a sense of urgency. For example, an email could threaten account expiration and place the recipient on a timer. Applying such pressure causes the user to be less diligent and more prone to error. Lastly, links inside messages resemble their legitimate counterparts, but typically have a misspelled domain name or extra subdomains. In the example below, the myuniversityedu renewal URL was changed to myuniversityedurenewal.com. Similarities between the two addresses offer the impression of a secure link, making the recipient less aware that an attack is taking place. How to prevent phishing. Vigilance is key. A spoof message often contains subtle mistakes that expose its true identity. These can include spelling mistakes or changes to domain names, as seen in the earlier URL example. Users should also stop and think about why they are even receiving such an email. Never provide personal information in response to an unsolicited request. Whether it is over the phone or over the internet, emails and internet pages created by Fisher may look exactly like the real thing. If you do not initiate the communication, you should not provide any information. Two-factor authentication, 2FA, is the most effective method for countering phishing attacks, as it adds an extra verification layer when logging into sensitive applications. 2FA relies on users having two things, something they know, such as a password and a username, and something they have, such as their smartphones. Thank you for listening. For more information on tech change makers, visit the link below or scan the, the QR code.